So most marketers today are investing in content marketing. Uh, it's also true that most marketers are not satisfied with the return on investment they're getting. And I think unwittingly, most marketers uh, are unintentionally uh, executing more of a branding strategy with their content marketing and not lead generation. Uh, now branding is really designed to create awareness and there's certainly nothing wrong with more people being aware of who you are. But there's a big difference between people being aware of who you are and those same people actually engaging with your sales team and buying products and service from you. And that's what a lead generation strategy is really all about. So what are the building blocks of a lead generation content marketing strategy? Well, it, it first starts with engaging early stage buyers, right? Uh, so if you were to map out uh, the individual buying personas and the high probability pains those personas face um, with the stages of their buying process, that creates a matrix for you to then create content around. And we think about the early stage buyers, the top of funnel content, most likely this is gonna be video, blog, long form article oriented content. Uh, and, and how do you get people to engage? Well, you're gonna to need to use all of the digital channels, right? So email, uh, social media, organic search, and if it's in the budget, paid search. So driving traffic to that, high, to that content that speaks to the high probability pains your prospects face, you're not yet talking about you, you're not talking about your product yet, right? You're engaging them on things that they care about. Now that you have them engaged, reading these articles, consuming that content, we need to have some way of converting them, right? So most people are unwilling to fill out a form to say read a 500 word blog, right, or an article. And if they did, they would feel uh, duped. They wouldn't be satisfied uh, and probably uh, opt out of further content if you tried to trick them with, with a form. So you're gonna have to have some more of a premium conversion oriented asset, something that they are gonna be willing to give up their information to receive. But remember, they're, they're still researching the high probability pains and how to solve those pains. They're not yet searching for a solution necessarily. So this isn't the place where you're gonna stick a gate in front of your sales collateral and, and, and try to sell them quite yet. This is probably a great place for an asset like a white paper where you're really doing a much deeper analysis on this business problem and you do start to begin exploring the solutions to those problems and obviously in a way that you can help solve those problems. So whether it's an infographic, white paper, or some other conversion asset, you've, you've attracted the, the audience through the, through the digital medi mediums. Uh, you've now presented that audience with conversion premium assets with, uh, that is gated. Now that you know the name of that person. This doesn't mean that they're ready to buy. Doesn't mean that they're ready to talk to a sales rep, right? The, the old acronym BANT, budget, authority, need, and time frame. Th this is the person that they've just indicated that they are interested in that topic it doesn't mean that they have the authority to make a decision. It doesn't mean that they have the budget. It doesn't mean that this is uh, something that their company can even take on right now. But it does mean you have a good, good a, a, you, have, you have a real person at a real company that is engaging with your brand on a topic, on a pain point that you can solve. So this is still a very good thing. So the next step is nurturing. If you think about content further down in the funnel, so they've identified their business problem, they're exploring solutions, and now they need help navigating this process. How do I evaluate vendors? What are the criteria I should be thinking of? What are the mistakes I could make? Um, uh, and, and this is where that type of content and case studies and whatnot come at the bottom of the funnel and be spoon feeding this content to those prospects to nurture them until they're sales ready. Combine all that with marketing automation to link your website with your CRM so your sales team has the lead intelligence to know exactly who's clicked on what, uh, what content is being consumed at what frequency so that they know the very best prospects that they should be doing their business development work with. Uh, when you combine all that, the content and the technology, that is a lead generation content marketing strategy.